What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas Pro tutorial for you and in this one we're going to be talking about the differences between Vegas Pro 19 and the brand new Vegas Pro 20. Okay so we have Vegas Pro 20 loaded up right here and as you can see I'm about to load up Vegas Pro 19 as well. There actually isn't too much of a difference. Um, and that I believe is because the Vegas Pro team, they wanted to make Vegas Pro 19 the last Vegas Pro and just continually update it. But I guess somewhere along the lines, plans changed and they are continuing with releasing a new yearly version. So I think that happened like way late in the game and so it didn't give them enough time to really revamp the UI. So it looks a lot like Vegas Pro 19. So this overview may be a little quicker than usual. So the main differences are that Vegas Pro 20 supports, you know, the latest and greatest hardware. So if you got a new graphics card, new processor, all that is fully supported inside Vegas Pro 20. The first thing you'll notice when installing Vegas Pro 20 is that the installer looks different. They changed up the installer so everything is all inclusive inside of it. You'll notice the graphics change in the splash page as well. It looks a little bit more simplistic. The icon change is actually a little bit different as well, but it resembles Vegas Pro 19 quite a lot. The key changes that they made in Vegas Pro 20 is that they updated the color grading panel and added some cool features. We'll go there real quick. Alt G and we'll see under the utilities, we have a new white balance menu. And then under HSL Curves, we have a new HSL Curves menu as well. I'll go into more details on these new changes in my color grading panel video for Vegas Pro 20 that's going to be uploaded relatively soon. Another key feature they added were more OpenGL transitions. If we go into the transitions and type GL, we can see GL transitions right here. And we have a ton of really cool, awesome transitions. Another really cool feature is that they added the ability to support VST3 audio plugins. Now this VST audio plugin and the VST32 bridge are in beta, so you may still experience a little bit of glitches here and there, but for the most part, all of my VST3 plugins work. And you can go to the options and go down to preferences and then go to VST effects. And then you'll notice that this page looks a bit different compared to Vegas Pro 19. And here you can add a path and choose your VST3 path, which most of the time people's VST3 plugins are in this specific file path. And then when you do, it will detect them and add them in there. I have RX9 in here and you can tell at the end we see VST3. And so if I wanted to apply one of those, I just go to my audio effects and go to audio event effects. And then from here, I can choose one of my VST3 plugins. Let's just say, I don't know, Guitar Denoise, even though it has nothing to do with this at all. I'm going to hit OK. And then we can see my VST3 plugin loads up just fine, and we can play around with it and whatnot. And if you have a Vegas 365 subscription, you can log into Vegas Hub. Then you can head on over to Hub Explorer and test out the new File Drop feature. Now, File Drop is pretty awesome. It allows you to invite other collaborators to have a shared cloud storage system that you guys can drag and drop from very easily throughout Vegas projects. So if you go to File Drop and right click and say create a new file drop, we can say, let's just say test, and then it'll load up the management window for your file drop. And here you can add participants by name and email and give them time limits, upload limits, and things like that and send the invitation out. And then this is the email that I got right here. It tells me my expiration date and my upload limit. So if I click upload files here, it'll take me to a window where I can add media and just upload it to my project. So I'm gonna say chopper gunner, upload files, and then it's done. So we go back to Vegas Pro 20 and we can go ahead and hit this refresh button. And now I see my clip I just uploaded. So you can send this to anybody. They don't even have to have Vegas Pro. They can just upload files for you. So like a client or something, or another editor, or another videographer who has the core videos that they're recording and you're editing in a different state or something like that, they can upload these files and you can add them to your project. Now, after we refresh it, you have to right click and sync it. And once it's synced, that means it's downloading to your project file. Once it's done, you can drag and drop it onto your project, just like that. And those are the core new features and changes between Vegas Pro 19 and 20. There are a little bit of menu changes here and there, but very insignificant changes that really don't apply or affect anybody in any way. They're basically just getting rid of a little bit of the older legacy things. And if this video helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. I'll see you guys in the next video.